How to write CV cover letter using Word Online templates. First, I open my Internet Viewer, go to OneDrive, or you can log into other Microsoft service like Outlook. Or then I open Word Online. Here I have templates ready to use. When I scroll down, I have see more templates. I open it and then I'm looking for resumes and cover letters. Then I choose resume I want to use. Let's take resume functional design. I click this open in Word Online there is a message almost there. Resume fi functional design will be saved to your OneDrive. So file I'm going to open will be saved on my OneDrive storage, on my OneDrive account. And if I have synchronized my OneDrive account to my PC, will appear also in my computer in a OneDrive folder. I click continue and here is resume you need to fill it up so you write your name your telephone your address you fill everything you need to then click file and save as so here you can save a copy on a OneDrive. You can rename this file. Let's uh, rename it to less CV, then click OK. You can also download a copy to your computer onto your pen drive. You can download it as a PDF. PDF is a portable document format. It's a good practice to send your CV, to send your cover letter as a PDF file because you have sure that the person who opened this document will see exactly the same document as you have seen before you have sent it. So it means there is a print version of this document. Even if a person open in a different uh, program, the document will be look the same. Next uh, option is download as ODT. ODT is a open document file format. Uh, it's uh, used by, uh, for example, OpenOffice. So if you don't have a uh, Microsoft uh, Office packet installed on your computer and uh, you would like to work on this document offline, so you can download it as an ODT and work on this document using OpenOffice. I put a link uh, to OpenOffice uh, in the description. You can also print this document you can share and there is uh, a few more options here like about, help, info of this document. Okay, we have first document our CV ready. Then uh, let's try to make a resume. So I go to new document, then more and here resumes and cover letters. Let's choose functional resume cover letter so it matches to functional resume. I open it again open in Word Online. I need to sign in an account to 
I need to sign in again, click continue. Here is my cover letter. So again, I put a name, street address, I put a recipient's name, and there is a cover letter ready to use. We just change name, we just change job title, we just, just change date, telephone number, company, put uh, an enclosure like uh, you can write CV or a copy of diploma or whatever, then it save us, rename it to less cover letter and click OK. Templates in Word Online can save a lot of your time. What's more, if you need a cover letter in foreign language, you can uh, use template as well. Click New, then More on Office.com, and then on the bottom, click Change Language. Here you can use a language you want to write a cover letter or another document, find this cover letter and this is templates waiting for you, ready to use. There is uh, many kind of templates. There are brochures, budget, businesses, calendars, cards, everything you need, you can use Word Online templates. So let's get invoices, business invoice, open all in Word Online. and your invoice is ready to use. You just put the number, you just put a name, you just put the descriptions and prices and it's ready. And all of the documents are saved in your OneDrive account. So I go to OneDrive, click documents and here it's less cover letter, less CV and this last document we didn't change a name, so this is this invoice. I will open it. And yes, this is the invoice. We didn't change uh, a name. What's more, all these documents are saved in your OneDrive folder in your local computer. If you have synchronized your OneDrive account and your PC. How to synchronize? I put the link in the description. Go to OneDrive. Oh, so I can synchronize now because I'm now not logged in. I put the name. Put the password. This is the same password uh, you use to log into your Windows. Sign in. Then hit next. Yes, I want to use this location. Here I can synchronize all of the folders. I want to synchronize it. Click next and done. And now in a few seconds my documents folder is ready and uh, my new created files from Wordline templates is in my OneDrive folder as well. So thank you for watching, please leave a comment, visit my website itsb.com 
and see you on the next video.